Hello guys, uh, time for a new tutorial. This time I'm going to show you a little bit uh, how I do uh, vocal chops for my tracks. And uh, I've prepared a little demo. Um, the thing is about vocal chops is that it's very much a trial and error process. So uh, I hope you can stay with me while I trial and error. Alright, so I got this little uh, loop here that I made. Alright, and I um, found an uh, acapella. From uh, Imogen Heap Headlock. And I've already warped that one, so it sounds like this uh, when you just play it. What you would prefer is um, a dry vocal, like this one, very dry. Distant flickering. And um, what you're gonna need to look for are long tones. We can move it here so we have just uh, no background. Distant flickering. So long parts uh, of uh, one steady note in this part. Distant flickering. We have a long nose here. So let's just slice that one out. They will have a sort of long. I want that one as well. Let's just move these ones uh, there. Where the spring, where the bringing it all back again, again. Again. And you want to have a variety of samples. Even if they are in the same key, they might uh, turn out well when you mix them with the others. Then you might want to have some notes that covers some range. Going outside to take it all in. You say too late to start, got your heart in. Okay, we have some background vocals there. Let's try to find higher notes ahead. You say too late. Still posted at your station, always on about the day it should have, should have, oh, that's should good have. Let's take that whole part. All right, so I'm gonna keep this very simple. Uh, it takes a lot of slicing and dicing to do this. But let's hope we can manage with that. So here we got like five samples, and let's move the loop thing here and play. <laughs> Let's try to um, play a little with these samples. Alright, so. Okay, I want, want to remove any syllables here, so I need to move that. Also, repitch. as long as you want or you can just duplicate and make some make some small changes like that ingredient. 
a lot of a lot of delay and some reverb. That can be tweaked quite a bit, but um, there you get the, the basic idea of uh, how I do it. I guess there are tons of ways to do it, but that's my take. I hope you learned something from it. If not, uh, just ask questions uh, through my website, airbasemusic.com, or on in the comments of this uh, video. Take care.